Monument Valley is a true treasure of a puzzle game. If you haven't heard of Monument Valley before, then boy, are you missing out. Monument Valley is a puzzle and exploration game released on April 3rd of 2014 for mobile devices. When hearing the word mobile game, you probably think of those terrible cash grab mobile games which throw in a ton of terrible gameplay and advertisements towards you just for the purpose of getting money. Monument Valley, however, came out in a time where developers actually cared about their projects. Games like Angry Birds, Minecraft Pocket Edition, and more flourished during this time because of one simple premise. Instead of having advertisements, they cost money. And the amount of effort put in this game really shows, because in my opinion, Monument Valley is the most beautiful mobile game ever made. One of the first things you see about Monument Valley is its simple yet elegant and beautiful art style. No game really had this art style back then, especially on smartphones, and it revolutionized how games on phones could look. The game wasn't very flashy, but it was gorgeous in its own very unique and lovable art style. Speaking of art style, that's what wowed most people and kept them coming back to the game because they just loved how it looked. However, what kept people playing the game were the optical illusion puzzles that you had to solve in order to progress. See, Monument Valley is a puzzle game in every sense of the word, but unlike most puzzle games, you not only have to solve puzzles by using the environment around you to move it, but also you must control your character, Ida, to progress through these levels. Speaking of Ida, you play as Ida in Monument Valley, a lost princess who must return lost geometric artifacts back to their proper homes by solving puzzles and getting through different levels in order for her to return to her true form. The story in the first Monument Valley game doesn't really play a huge part in gameplay, at least compared to the second game, which I'll go into more detail about in a little bit. Gameplay in the first game is very self-explanatory. Like I stated earlier, to complete levels, you must return the stolen artifacts to their proper levels by venturing through 10 levels of the base game. You move by tapping on where you'd like to go on your screen, but not every area is initially available to you. Well, at least that's what you may think. See, by moving different objects around the environment, you can allow Ida to progress through these levels. Whether that's a dial that moves to level different terrain, or finding friends which can help you move to gain access to new areas, the only thing stopping you from progressing in this world is your own creative intuition. The graphic design and gameplay are only part of what makes Monument Valley so special and beautiful to me. Another thing that plays a huge role in the game's overall success and enjoyment is the sound design. Monument Valley's sound design is very understated, yet effective. Whenever you move an object, an instrument will play that goes along with the current background music. Whenever you find a new area in Monument Valley, a sound cue will play telling you that you can progress within the level you are on and see what's coming up next. I talked about background music, and my goodness, the music in this game is just, mmm, French kiss. While I do prefer the music of Monument Valley 2 a bit more, which is what you've been hearing in combination with the first game, the first game's soundtrack is still very solid, and fits the theme of the game it's in almost perfectly. The variety of instruments just goes to show the randomness of the game can possess, and it really adds to just how special Monument Valley truly is. I might be a bit biased in saying this, but the Monument Valley series of games, in my opinion, are the greatest set of mobile games ever created. You might be thinking to yourself, wait a second, that's not right, you literally talked about Angry Birds earlier, there's so many other games on phones that are better. Yes, yes. Maybe there's mobile games that have more action, more gameplay, maybe even a more immersive story. But in my opinion, the first game and second games of Monument Valley top them all. The first game tells an amazing story of redemption and forgiveness through trial and error, and learning the costs of your own actions. The second game tells an even more detailed story of a mother and daughter who must learn to split up in order to learn new things and find their paths in life. As much as I would love to continue talking about the second game, it deserves an entirely different video dedicated to it, 
as the gameplay and overall story are significantly different enough for it to not fit into this video. However, I will be covering the sequel to Monument Valley in a future video. Make sure to stay tuned to that, as I'm really excited to start working on that video next. What I will talk about in this video, however, are the two expansions which Monument Valley has. One of these expansions is the Forgotten Shores, which expands upon the original story of the game with eight brand new levels with immersive environments and even more puzzles. If you love the first game, you'll definitely love this expansion on it. It just goes to show how a formula can't go stale when it's this good. The other expansion is a bit different. It's called Ida's Dream. As the name implies, it's a dreamlike adventure through different puzzles to test your skills at the game. These are very unique puzzles, as these are the types that probably didn't fit into the original game. There's an outer space one, one with you going in all different directions, and many more. The puzzles in this level are more difficult than the base game, so be prepared for you to go through some hardships when trying to beat this one. Both of these expansions are very fun to play, and I definitely recommend finishing the original game first before playing these, but make sure to check these out, as they are included with the base game on PC. I want to end today's video with this. Please, go play Monument Valley. Whether it's the first or the second doesn't matter, as they aren't really a coherent story. But please, go play Monument Valley. During a time in my life where everything's been pretty stressful and I've been burned out from almost everything I've enjoyed doing, such as Roblox, video editing, and all that good stuff, Monument Valley has provided some peace, joy, and most importantly, life lessons that everyone can learn from. So what are you waiting for? The game is on pretty much every platform. You have a phone, don't you? Get it on there. It's like four bucks and it supports a development team that really truly cares. Don't want to play on your phone? No problem, it's on Steam as the panoramic version. However, I would definitely recommend getting the original mobile version as it gives the true Monument Valley experience. Thank you guys for watching today's video. I know it was a bit different from my typical stuff, but I've been wanting to talk about Monument Valley for a while, and once I learned there's a PC port, I decided to grab some footage and go crazy. If you enjoy this video, please subscribe, like the video, share, all that good stuff. It helps my channel out immensely and really makes me feel better about making different content on this channel. You guys have been really patient with me and I can't appreciate that enough. So thank you guys for everything. I'm WD40Gaming and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.